I know this is not gonna be about tarot or anything. No. Oh. No. Yeah, it was like people are, I felt like people are like trying to drag me into some things lately. Like, wow. No. Yeah, it's like when you start to vibrate high, uh, you start to get out of all that. Um, okay, I'm gonna touch on some interesting stuff here. supplements yeah it's like I try to do stuff and I'm like oh I'm still work in progress yeah so it's like I wrote down the other day what I ate in the supplements but I didn't even get all of the supplements down or whatever and I didn't take all the supplements yeah, I don't know if, like, I have, like, a habit, like, what my mom would do, where she would put out all these pills, and then, like, you'll see, like, pills left around or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird, but, yeah. I do the same thing or whatever, and, like, um, what is that? You'll just, like, set aside pills for, like, later, or, like, the next day or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> been doing that. But no, someone making fun of me, just saying I'm weak and puny and whatever else. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of interesting when it's like people are just looking for any and every opportunity to like talk shit about you. Yeah, when it's like, they don't even like personally know you, so it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, yeah, this will just be like a short thing or whatever. I'm not going to like draw it out or whatever. If, unless, I, you know, if I don't really have to, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm just like, meh. Um... I have actually been very athletic in my life. Though, lately I've been, what, trying to get past the sloth stuff and what is that, um, procrastinating and whatever else, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Avoidant personality, stuff on autism spectrum little benounce to me until like way at the end here right edge of order and chaos um okay so I'll, I'll give a little rundown um when I was younger I don't remember the age ranges but I want to say I don't know high school high school and like before yeah, so doing um, hip-hop dance and also doing uh, taekwondo for a few years, give or take. Yeah, I got to, uh, what is that? Um, I want to say Deputy 3 or something. Yeah, and the only thing I remember, well, I remember how to do proper falls, like to break a fall. 
and I do remember how to break boards. Yeah, and there was like, I got good at that, um, you like hold out your hand and like you go like this. What is it? Um, I don't know what that kick is even called anymore. Yeah, it's like, you're like, you hold out your hand and you're just like, like this or whatever. Yeah, I got like really good at that one. Um, and then that one where you're like on your side and you like go like that. Yeah, the sidekick, I think that was one. And then the other one I got good at was like, you jump up on one leg and then you go like this. Yeah, it's like jump kick or whatever. That's the other one. I, I did break boards. I don't think I broke more than like three. Um, yeah, I figured out how to do, um, what is it? How to, it's like how to grab. So if someone's stabbing you or trying to stab you, uh, the samurai sword, but we would just do it to practice form. So it would be made out of wood. Yeah, to do proper forms. We had to like memorize all that. Um, nunchucks, but we use the soft ones. And then sparring, it was light contact. Yeah, I remember some like heavy set chick like accidentally kicked me down there. Yeah, in the vagina or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's something else. Oh, there was like certain things you had to remember. What was it? Perseverance. Indomitable spirit was the one I liked. Uh, integrity. Uh, and I want to say there's a couple other ones. Yeah, like, um, rules to live by, basically. Sort of like commandments or something. Yeah, the emphasis was on fun fundamentals and stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to say the Korean, what is it, 1 through 20? Yeah, Hana do set net dasit yasit yigup yudo ahop yo, yo hana yo do yo set yo net yo dasit yo yasit yigup yudo ahop yo. I believe that's 1 through 20 in Korean. It's been a while, so. <laughs> yeah. I used to, uh, my mom would buy all the, um, what is it, like, Japanese bootleg anime. Yeah, so it would have, like, also Japanese subtitles, so. Yeah, for, we would get the ones for Dragon Ball Z. We were big into that when it came out, so. I always remember hearing, Oto-san? <laughs> is it father or something? Yeah, I used to always remember hearing that. That, like, stuck with me or whatever. But, um, yeah, I did that. There was, like, this break I liked where, like, you use, like, this part of your hand or whatever. And you, like, go like that. Yeah, and you have to keep it, like, really straight or whatever. Yeah. So I did that. I did do, I did pay for one class of aerial silks. So where the one time I did do it, I was like hanging upside down and like doing like, basically when you're, when it, it, it causes you to basically engage and use all your muscles in your body. Yeah, like straight up. So I only took one class. It was like a long time ago, but I contemplated going into that and I contemplated doing um, aerial hoop because I did uh, do a little but I didn't do anything like you know yeah it was like kind of like still kind of using things like I don't know more like a stripper pole in a sense or something not really using the aerial hoop like how it's meant to be used but no, that was actually stuff that initially I wanted to do more and get into. Yeah, because um, besides stripping, I did that for a long time. 
Yeah, so stripper pole and like floor work and stuff. I used to be able to like put my legs behind my head and shit like that. But, um, you know, and like twerking and shit. Yeah, I did like stuff like I could have even taken stuff farther, but it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. We'll see. Like, who you never know, like, what happens or whatever. Yeah, so. But. Yeah, I don't get people that talk shit when it's like they don't personally know you. That's like just weird to me. Yeah, I know. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, they think that just because, like, you're not, quote-unquote, like, physically active, like, right now, or that they haven't seen you be really physically active, if at all, like, um, they don't know your past, number one, and number two, like, they don't know that, um, it doesn't mean that you won't get into things, like, later on or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, if you really want to, it's like, yeah, it's like people can do all kinds of shit. I don't know, the coffee, like, tastes watered down to me. I don't know why. Maybe because we were so, maybe we were putting more scoops in the other thing, I think, or something. Yeah. So, no, I did that, and then I did, um, there was one time I did a temp job, so it was at FedEx Freight at, at Christmas time for a month. So, I was pulling the, the big cargo containers, and we would be putting these big bags, cargo bags, and they'd be packed full of boxes and shit. Yeah, it was brutal. So it was like the 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 months time that I did do that, I would just remember like waking up out of bed and like I would just be moving up out of bed and I'd be my bones would be cracking and shit. Yeah, man, it was like rough. <sighs> yeah, there would be like a platform and all these little rolly balls or whatever and you'd have to pull those things. There'd be a strap in the back and you have to pull them. And, and set them by the dock, basically the loading dock. Yeah. Yeah, I know people are just, I don't know. Like I said, they, they like to find, use any and every opportunities to like either shade you or talk shit or whatever. Yeah, I know. Um, they've been doing it on and off for some time anyway, different people. Um, yeah, I recently just finally started walking, so after everything that had gone down or whatever, so for me, that was like a, a step in the right direction again, so yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like taking my getting up off my ass at all. Yeah, I was like, what is that? Things can be debilitating, whether what is a schizophrenia. Um, depression, all kinds of shit, yeah. Yeah, it's like, just because, like, somebody hit rock bottom, it doesn't mean that, number one, they can't get back up, and number two, that, you know, they can't get to where they used to be. I mean, I used to have, like, really big shoulders and upper arms. Yeah, I remember one time I almost had, like, a six-pack and stuff, too. Granted, I never, like got into doing a, a bunch of pole tricks and stuff like other females but it's not like I couldn't do that if I wanted to yeah who knows maybe I'll do something here I don't know yeah I'm like I'm big into art still so I don't know <laughs> yeah so who knows um Trying to think what else. Oh, I did work at UPS for a period of time when I was younger. So I did, there was a point in time where I had the managers like looking at me like, what the hell, like this chick can like handle all this like workload and shit. 
Yeah, there was a point at Christmas time that I was loading three trucks. Yeah, I would just be going like bloop, 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 like that. And then there was a time when it was like on the, the dock, so they have the walls that go along the sides. And then you'll have like the main uh, assembly line of like the cages that are like, I want to say they're like three levels. Yeah, and the box would be there. So you'd be like crawling up in there and then, you know, going back into the trucks. But those are like smaller trucks that were stationed in the, the central hub area. Yeah, so I don't know. I worked there, so I did that stuff. And then there was a, a, another logistics job I did in the warehouse, so shipping and receiving yeah so it was like a while ago whatever heating and cooling parts yeah I, I remember I was borrowing my parents Dodge Ram van and like I ended up being like the talk of the town I'm sure some people recognize me yeah and uh I just never heard the end of it it was like people would always mention it because like it was during luckily it was during winter but like you know, I don't think there were, like, cars nearby it, luckily. But I don't know. All of a sudden, like, I got alerted by someone. They're like, your car is, you know, your car is smoking or whatever. So I go out there, and I quickly go in there and, like, turn it off. Turn off the ignition. And only come to find, like, underneath the van, there was, like, something that fell underneath and, like, went up in flames. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like, the rest of it, the front of it did. Yeah, it was like a long time ago or whatever. I remember like I gave my parents pretty much I almost gave them a heart attack, knock on wood and shit. Yeah, no manifesting, but you know, not trying to hear. Yeah, I remember the first one of the I don't know if it was the first car, one of the first cars I had. I think it was one of the first cars I had. Yeah, it was a 93 Nissan Sentra or whatever. <laughs> And I remember, like, I had to put a bag of kitty litter in the trunk or whatever. Yeah, it's so it would give me traction in the wintertime. And I remember going down one road and, like, the, what is that? The, like, roof flew up or something. Not the roof, but, like, yeah, like, the, where the engine is, you know, the lid. Or, you know, yeah. And it, like, flew up back and I ended up, like, cracking my windshield. Yeah, I want to say I got into one, two, three car accidents since, like, I was, like, a kid or something. Yeah, there was, like, one car accident was in, like, a Ford 500, and I think I was hanging out with, like, two, peop two or three people at the time. Yeah, and then the other time... Uh, knock on wood, I've actually never been the cause of a car accident, actually. That's weird that I'm talking about this. Yeah, I've never been the cause of a car accident. Some people might be surprised about that, so it's kind of, I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. Maybe some people are curious or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, and there was another car accident I had with an ex of mine... And, yeah, I wasn't going fast. And I want to say it was in Willow Springs? Or Willow, I don't know if it was Willow Brook or Willow Springs. And I remember, I don't think we were going more than, like, 30 miles an hour. Yeah, it was, like, at night. I want to say it was towards the evening. And then on a road, and there was like, there's like hills, cause it's out, it was, I know it was kind of like near, out near like, towards, um, New Lenox, but not that far over. Yeah. And so there was like a, a hill, I remember, towards the right, and there was like these guardrails. And I remember after I got hit, it, the guy hit me on my side, or what is that, the driver's side? And on the side, if there weren't that guardrail, the hill, and then the trees there, if it wasn't for that guardrail, I would have gone down in the ditch. 
Yeah, because the car actually lost, I lost complete control of the car. It wasn't even responding. Yeah, it was the airbags deployed and shit. This was like a little bit ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember though, like my mom was like, you know, telling me go to the hospital or whatever, like get looked at and shit. And I remember, I don't think I was there in the, in the emergency room or ER for more than an hour. And, um, they like, they're like, oh, you're fine. You know, they don't find anything wrong with you or whatever. But I remember having like bad depression and it's like, I didn't know why and couldn't explain but for some reason, I was, like, drawn to go to the chiropractor or something. And it was weird because it was, like, the chiropractor ended up helping me more than the emergency room. Yeah, and it actually got rid of the depression. So because of me taking myself in, this was when I was in Joliet. Or no, I don't know if I was living in Joliet at the time. I don't even know. Yeah, I think, no, I was just, like, in Illinois still or whatever. Yeah, and, but my rib, I think it was, like, a rib that was out, so they ended up, like, putting it back in place and shit. Yeah, but for some reason, like, it ended up, like, getting rid of the depression I had, and it was, like, pretty bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was another time where, this is, like, later on or whatever, but, I remember it was a night partying or what have you, and um, we were pretty fucked up or whatever. We were, like, arguing. This is with the, the ex I had because we were always, like, getting fucked up all the time. Yeah, it was, like, the Amy Winehouse and that guy she was with. Yeah, it was just, like, a lot like them, like, violent and all kinds of shit. Yeah, because we were always, like, getting fucked up on drugs and alcohol. I remember one time we were on the freeway and we were just we were arguing but I was in the passenger seat and he's in the driver's seat and it was like he sped up yeah to like try to hit the car in front of us on the freeway yeah it was pretty intense or whatever I did save his life though Oh, yeah, people don't think, like, I didn't, like, experience some shit or something. Yeah, um, there was, it was a separate time. We were hanging out, you know, par like, partying. We were, we were, had quite a few drinks or whatever, hanging out with this couple. I want to say we met up at a bar and then we decided to go home with them, you know, and whatever, kinky stuff or whatever, and, um, it got intense or whatever. So then we ended up deciding to leave. And then I, he ended up punching this, like, glass window. Yeah, and he ended up, like, cutting, like, this main vein right here. And I just remember, like, blood, like, gushing, spewing out and shit. So I'm like, oh, shit, you know. So I just, for some reason, like, I put pressure on his, like, wrist, on his chest or something. So I was, like, carrying him down the street. And then come to realize, like, um... My 80 Oldsmobile was, like, towed. Yeah, and I was, like, calling and screaming for help. And luckily, we got a cab. And not only that, we were lucky that the hospital was, like, a few blocks down or whatever. Yeah, it was in Chicago or whatever. And um, I remember I looked, like, out of a horror movie. I was, like, drenched in blood from, like, head, to to head down to my feet or whatever. And he ended up keeping the shoes I had or whatever. Yeah, they're like wedged, uh, like, I don't know, creeper style shoes or whatever. <sighs> yeah, I share some stories or whatever, but. Oh my god, I gotta write down, like, all the other crazy experiences I've had or some shit. Yeah, I'm lucky. I'm knock on wood. I am lucky that I didn't, like, get into trouble. Yeah, like, all the crazy shit I got into or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Like, my my views and or opinions on certain things would be deemed controversial to a degree. 
Yeah, I know, like, not everyone would agree with it because it's kind of like, it is pretty much, it is the, the devil people, really. Yeah, I know, so I'm not surprised if someone or what, whomever looking at me is like a gypsy and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's like, um, they call them the devil people. Yeah, um, they're the type of people that, um, I don't know, I think you're Babylonians, I guess, too. Yeah, um, they're the type of people that are basically the outcasts of, of different societies, and yeah, they end up, like, traveling around. So I guess you could say they go alongside with the, pretty much the nomads. But yeah, it's like you got to think of like Noah's people and the Babylonians. And the Babylonians were like quote unquote evil ones, but Noah's people were the righteous ones. Yeah, so there's something to all that. You know, you think of like Bonnie, the Bonnie and Clyde thing and um, the outlaws too. So yeah, that's why like for people it still comes like naturally for them or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. So, no, I mean, I can't blame people for looking at me certain ways or whatever. Like, I can't, I can't really even, like, get offended per se or take offense. Yeah, I know, it's like, it's kind of like more or less to be expected or whatever, really. <sighs> I don't know. There's still stuff that I didn't do that, you know, other people would do. Yeah, so, it's kind of more just, like, it playing alongside outlaws, so not, like, directly affiliated with, like, anyone. Yeah, it's more just like that, and you would just, like, keep your nose out of their business. Yeah, there was, like, it was kind of, like, more or less, I already maybe instinctually knew about, like, unspoken word unspoken things and or guidelines or like code code and or codes to like uphold to or something yeah i was like more like that or whatever yeah even i don't even think of out of all the videos i've done like i don't even like really disclose people's like names or personal information or anything yeah, I don't even, I know for a fact I haven't even gone so far as, like, to name gangs or outlaws and things like that. Yeah, just because it's like, you know, you don't want trouble, so it's like, you know, you're not that stupid to, like, put that shit out there or some shit like that. <laughs> it's like one of those things. <sighs> yeah, I remember one time I was hanging out with someone and their gun accidentally went off in the house. Yeah. Yeah, there was another time it was a party and um the friend of mine luckily he knew how to handle the situation and like basically like consoled the guy, you know, cuz people be getting fucked up and he was like, you know, twiddling with his gun and shit. You're we like, "Oh shit, like is he going to do something?" Yeah, there's so many freaking close encounters like, I mean, you know, I've gone I've like been through whatever. I mean, it's, it's still in no comparison to like some other people. So, by no means am I trying to like toot my own horn here or whatever, but yeah, I know. But yeah, I had to like, you know, calm the guy down or, you know. Yeah. yeah, I know. I had like, I had a guy one time. Yeah, they, they'll ask you some crazy shit. <laughs> the, like what, the sodomy? Yeah, or was it castration and shit? <laughs> yeah, and it's like, I got ended up getting warned by a dude or dudes or whatever. Like, you know, you don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah, like liabilities and legalities and all that shit. Yeah. 
but yeah i mean they'll they'll ask for that stuff yeah yeah i know i know i remember what it's called it's a certain thing they use device <sighs> it's no joke all the play needles yeah that was like not always people's cup of tea but i knew some uh, other females that would do that yeah they would do like stuff was it like the freak show stuff or whatever i knew people that were into that or performers yeah um what is that i knew a chica that would eat glass yeah or like people that would walk on glass or you know like the freak show people yeah i did like some burlesque stuff for like um with another burlesque dancer and a couple one one of two times or something and there was like shows i would do with like a metal band or whatever yeah a death metal band i did like one burlesque performance for them it was like a long time ago yeah, um, I'm trying to think. Mm. I'd like the coffee that needs to be stuck. Yeah, I'm going to like tweak it. Tweak it! But yes, I used to be big into... I guess being athletic and healthy and stuff so yeah it's like it's not like I can't get there again or whatever so 